Okay, well yesterday I had a lot of fun playing with a uh, ton of liodes for the first time. And obviously there was some things that I kind of ran into roadblocks. So uh, when in doubt, read the manual, right? <laughs> and here's the tunnel diode manual. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this was written in 1961 by General Electric, who was building tunnel diodes. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera here, but it says $1. I pay $1 for this. So I think it's a dollar well spent. Um, so it says circuits, applications, and specifications. Talks about how dental tunnel diodes work in uh, an energy diagram levels and stuff where where it can uh, tunnel uh, things like that. Sort of how it's constructed and things. It's a hundred page a uh, hundred page manual. So uh, yeah, look look for the uh, general electric uh, tunnel diode. Talks about the curves. Uh, talks about another device called a backward diode. Um, and then. Take a look at this. <laughs> this is what I invented yesterday. <laughs> I recreated, I guess. Um, so here it says, here's a displayed curve trace of a tunnel diode. That's exactly what we had. It goes up, and then there's this big blank section, and then it, 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 the other half of it. And then, remember, I tried it on a, uh, a different method where I was stepping things with a Keithley, and I got this diagram, which is goes up, and then it kind of stays at some intermediate level, and then you, then it starts on this merry way. So um, it basically tells you that this is what you expect, and it's because you have too high of a resistance in series, and you'll get that. And this one shows that you have oscillation here. And remember, yesterday I thought there might be oscillation. I thought maybe I could use. Um, some inductance to kill that. I think I might adding inductance might actually make it worse. So um, yeah, we'll play with that today. But basically, yeah, uh, these don't work. And then it tells you actually how to build one. Um, I mean, build a curve tracer that you can use for testing tunnel diodes. Actually gives a schematic and a parts list and everything. And it says, this is what you need to do in order to test tunnel diodes. And it's very low um, inductance um, very low resistance measurement setup. Um, so uh, I decided to go ahead and play with it on the curve tracer. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what we had yesterday. Um, the diode came up and then there's this big blank section and then it zips over here. It actually like takes a shortcut over here. So it kind of goes up, it shortcuts over to here. And when it comes down, it shortcuts over to there. Uh, so that's what it's doing there. Now, uh, the schematic that they show has series resistances of around 10 ohms. Now, uh, the uh, uh, curve tracer here I have set to a series resistance of 650 ohms. And if I change, I, I can go down to 0.3 ohms. So now I have 0.3 ohms of series resistance. And if I do that, I get a different trace. I actually get some of that negative resistance region. Now it's kind of ugly looking. There are some kind of plateaus. So I think what's happening is it's, um, it's definitely, whenever it's flat spotted, I think you get some oscillations in there. So it's not exactly, super low impedance, but pretty low. So that's um, 0.3 ohms, this is 1.4 ohms, and then this one is 6.5 ohms, and then this one is 30 ohms. So yeah, it's interesting, it comes up, and you can see the two paths that it takes. So there's these little shortcut paths, um, and then it goes on its merry way. So anyway, very fun. Um, I did notice another thing when I was playing with it last night, um, and I wanted to show that to you because it's very interesting. Um, if I go back to, let's say 1.4 ohms is fine. If I go back to this picture here, I said, well, what if I put in some series inductance like I was yesterday? Is that making it better? Is that making it worse? So I'm gonna put in some series inductance here. I forget what value this is, we'll have, we'll have to measure it. Um, and let's see. So there we go, it sort of smooths it out a bit. I don't get the, uh, so 
here's the one that has some flat has some flat spots in it and then with the series inductor it sort of smooths those out a little bit maybe um, and then I thought well maybe I'll put in some bigger inductance right so I put in this bigger inductor and look at this this is super cool um, it it has this area where it's let's see if we can zoom in on that because it's super cool let's see horizontal yeah Look at that. It, it's like it's oscillating at, and it's changing depending on the voltage. So remember, I'm still sweeping voltage. And so um, it's like a slower oscillation and then it's sweeping. So you get to see, you get to see the oscillation kind of real time here where it was just a flat line before. This one's going wacka, wacka, wacka because of the inductor. So anyway, I don't really know what that means. I just thought it was super cool <laughs> and I wanted to share it. So anyway, there you go. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is about, uh, let's see here. Let's put that other inductor and then we'll measure that one. That one kind of smoothed it out. Let's look at it in this picture. We have these flat spots here, which are the kind of the, um, yeah, there we go. And that kind of smooths it out a bit. I mean, it's still not the curve that we want, right? We would still have to build a really low, a low ohms and stuff. Now they had a series resistor in there too. I want to try that out and see if that helps as well. But they did not have an inductor in there. So that, that's just kind of cheating on my part. But I'm going to put in a different, I'm going to try something out. Okay, well that didn't work either. So um, it, it's the same picture as we saw as we saw last time. Let me show let me show you what my brilliant idea was. Um, I have been using these uh, test leads here, and I thought, well, maybe that's adding too much inductance here with these long leads here. So I'm using I'm using my diode test fixture here. Uh, I've showed this before, but it's a uh, the the can you see it in there? Yeah, the uh, diode is sitting in there and it's so it's a slow, uh, less impedance less less inductance and uh, not enough not enough to not enough to make any difference so all right all right well there you go um i'll try to link this in my description uh the tunnel diode manual uh tomorrow i'm going to actually make a real circuit so stick stay tuned for tomorrow uh we will build an oscillator